How's it going guys? Welcome back to West of Loathing. We're gonna free her now, and I'm gonna do it with the uh, kerosene and match because it sounds more exciting. Just trying to keep some action hero lively Mission Impossible level stakes in this game, you know? I could get you out with a whole lot of fire. What? Whoa, 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 hey, hey, no, 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 stop. Better close your eyes. <laughs> with a loud foosh, the elevator operator is freed from her block of ice and also from her eyebrows and a fair amount of her hair. <laughs> I did still gain experience, though. Ugh, thanks, I guess. I'm gonna go see if I can find some burn cream before I get back to the elevator. A job medium well done. I mean, a job well done would have been funny anyways, but I would have had to have, like, dug for the joke. I probably wouldn't have caught it right away, and it would have almost been like, was that intentional? Medium well done. Brilliant. But now I actually wonder if I am an idiot, and now the, uh, the elevator's not going to be operational instantaneously. Oh, she's not happy. I've, like, permanently infuriated her, I think. Oh, great. It's you. Welcome to the elevator. Hey, I could bring you a mannequin if you want to practice your greetings. Maybe, uh, maybe be a little more greetable, approachable next time. At this point... All we can do is go to the second floor. Why just the second floor? The button for the third floor is missing. You want to help? Maybe you can burn down the entire manor and I dig it out of the ashes. Wow. Way to hold a grudge. Second floor, please. Sounds just... It sounds great. I... I didn't mean to knock it. I didn't mean to make you feel bad about it. You're fond of these fronds. Yeah, I kind of am. It's quite, quite nice, I'd say. They've got a library. You do much reading, Susie? Well, sure. Broadcast radio ain't been invented yet, and TV's half a century away. So what else are you going to do on a ranch after sundown? Yeah, I hear ya. What's your poison? Well, Ma was into Jane Austen and the Bronte sisters, so they were mostly what we had around. They're alright, but a bit of hoity-toity for my taste. I liked Frankenstein much better. And that Poe fella. Wow, quite well read there, Susie. Truth be told, though, I think I've seen enough actual horror to last me a while. Wouldn't mind a tea party book these days. I can dig it. <laughs> a messy stripe of brightness on a dark background. <laughs> it's weird, because it, it did look a little bit like a window, but I was like, am I going into the basement or up above? No, it's just a painting. It's quite a quite a nice painting. Very uh, unique style, I would say. Not as nice as this one that's just a bunch of T's, except for this one that looks like a J. Kind of throwing the whole thing off. We got T's, at's. Oh, is the next one going to be like, it'll have like a C or a B in the front? And it will just keep expanding this and making making the photos more and more... Uh, like, there'll be a whole lineup of photos that add one letter at a time. I really hope that's what's going on. We got tats, mom, dad, and beer. That's a good one. Quality stats. States. Oh, it added in the middle. I liked when it was adding to the outside every time. Statues. Well, that guy's not quite a statue. Oh, is he the guy that we freed? Is he the museum dude? And statutes. I will have to go read through all this because there's a hell of a lot going on. There's a lot to unpack here. And then what's this? Because these are all... I, I would like to uncover them if it's an option. This painting is covered by a sheet. We have... Oh, I'm going to go ahead and guess that it's Bob. Oh! Things are looking more and more likely that it's going to be Bob. Ah! <laughs> All the ridiculous booze hidden in this in this game is wonderful. Ooh, speaking of loving beer, I would love to find some more booze at some point. All these, all this booze would really quench my thirst. But no, I love how every time it happens, it's just kind of like, ah, uh... <laughs> it's wonderful. I love it. A bunch of teas and a bunch of different typefaces. This one is more uh, avant-garde, I guess. These are the three kind of tattoo that have been invented so far. <laughs> no one's kind of come up with anything more exciting than that. It's a list of statistics about the gallery. 
The T's, 8. At's, 9. Tat's, 3. Stats, 7. State's, 45. Oh, that's uh, it's probably historically accurate. Statues, 3. Statutes, 69,105. Fascinating. And the states? It's a list of 45 states, including Michigan, Illinois, and South Carolina. You wonder what will get annexed next? Maybe it'll be West Fipperly in a territory. <laughs> I hope so. I've been there once before, or I've, I've at least meant to. I've been adjacent. I've heard good things about West Fipperlina. I hope, I hope for the sake of the king, the world of loathing, that they get to experience that someday. Is this supposed to be like an Abe Lincoln type character? No, he has like a chin strap uh, beard. Wait a minute. The stats plaque said there were only three statues here. You peer closely at the statues until you find the one that you're pretty sure is just a guy covered in flour. Hey buddy, what are you doing? Look, I'm 95% certain you're a real person, not a statue. What are you up to? I'm a statue. Go away. Well, you've convinced me. <laughs> okay, now I'm 99% sure. Go away. What's your name? Paul. Go away. Hi Paul, I'm the Grimy. What are you doing? <sighs> I'm pretending to be a statue so the ghost won't get me. Go away, you'll blow my cover. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey over here, this guy's not a statue. Everyone should come take a look. The list of boring laws from before the cows came home and everything got fun again. <laughs> more laws, each one more complex and boring than the last. It's a smorgasbord of legalese and you're not hungry. <laughs> non compost mentis. Mens rea. Oh, you're a lawyer ghost, are you? Habeas corpus. Quite the precedent. What else you got? Modus operandi? I've heard all of these. Objection! <laughs> and I, I've, I've definitely known a posteriori legal? No. <laughs> I, I've, I've definitely heard of some of these before. That one that was like delicate or whatever, it was just sounding like it was something that came from a delicatessen. It didn't sound like something that would come straight from the law. But that implies... Oh, it seems like you're real good at your job. I wouldn't want you to be on the opposite side of you if you were like ever prosecuting or anything like that. I wish I remember what like literally any of these meant. Objection! Huh? What are you objecting to? Your face! Overruled. What's your problem anyways? I don't want to fight these ghosts. I want... It seems like less dialogue to fight them. If I talk to them, then we get more sillies. Bah! It's legal stuff. You'd never understand. In fact, I think you'd find I don't have gun law. Sometime, I, maybe I'll read up on that when I get the time. Well, la di ta that jerk. Oh yeah? Try me. Fine. What's the maximum legal caliber for a civilian handgun? Eight. Hundred. Eight hundred? Try again, and when you actually know anything about gun law, or anything. Nuts. Was I close? Just give me like a few more guesses. Was it somewhere between 8 and 800? Can I have 792 more guesses, please? I'm certain I'll get it after that. Oh, okay, right, right, right. For half a second I was worried that, I was like, was that the only thing on the entire floor? Because I didn't get like anything out of that. Burbling away, nice and hot. You don't know what these cans mean, but you know they mean it 12 times. It's a lot more impressive than a painting of just one giant can. Whatever you're trying to say, you're only saying once. That guy's kind of grabbing ass there a little bit, wouldn't you say? These freakazoid, thick-bodied characters? It's hard to understand what the hell's even going on. Abstract buddies. Yeah, they're they're kind of they're kind of freakish, I would say, with their grotesque overly bulgy bodies. The bottom edge of the frame looks thicker than the other edges. I'm going to investigate the hell out of that. I can't actually... I don't think so? I don't know now, though. Is there some sort of weird illusion I'm missing there? I don't know. I don't, I don't see it, if it is the case. A painting of a complicated shape. It's a painting of some folks at a cafe back east. The guest rooms, the rest rooms. Those sound much more fascinating. I would love to see what they got going on in here. There was a golden cross down in that other room. It's a medicine cabinet, which is a cabinet for storing medicine. 
Interesting. What's inside? I wasn't sure if it was going to be another another uh, build off of that joke. Cause that joke never really satisfyingly concluded itself. Mostly meaning that I probably didn't get it. Interesting. What's inside? Why ointment? That's what's inside. Old timey ointment. Cured pretty much everything. Anything that ailed you, just slap some ointment on it. Got some burns on your skin? Ointment's good for that. A little bit rashy? Ointment's good for that. Gone blind? Just slap some ointment on it. Beginning to disassociate from reality and thinking that you might secretly be a cat person? Put some ointment on it. Works for everything. This is a tube of medicinal, medicinal ointment old enough that it contains every single ingredient the government has ever banned. Increases your armor by 17 and your hot cold resistance by 20 for the rest of the day. That seems pretty dang good. Like, where is my armor? That sounds like a lot. Yeah, that's like more than double. That's kind of out of control, wouldn't you say? But I have so much stuff going on. Do I have anything that adds armor? I have a lot of speed and like things that add a lot of uh, muscle and moxie and, and, and things like that. Mmm, the ghost pickle adds 15. That's where I'm getting like all of my, like all of it from. Kind of an out of control amount from that. Ooh, the extra AP is nice. What else we got going on in the room? Nice toilet, nice fun toilet. I guess rich people use the bathroom one toilet at a time, just like the rest of us. <laughs> it's like putting on your pants one leg at a time. Blush it. Take that, irresponsible wealth. I think it said irresponsible. It went away very quickly, but yay, more toilet-based experience. Always love getting lots of that. It's a fancy vanity, and it reminds you of your own fancy vanity. Indulge it. You pry the biggest and most visible chunks of wax out of your ears and gain five experience nice always admiring thyself what is it it's like a normal bathtub but the faucet is really high up and there's a curtain around it take the curtain <laughs> you got the shower curtain it's curtains for you well we figured out what the hell it was and what it was called quite quickly didn't we this is actually just a white sheet. The shower was invented so recently that they haven't really figured out what these things should be yet. Yeah, that's not a great... It seems like it would absorb a lot of liquid. Get kind of heavy, never really dry out, be kind of smelly probably. Not great. You guys will get there someday though. I won't judge too hard. You just didn't know what you were doing at the time. Seems a mite funny for someone to be taken in lodgers in someone else's house. Yeah, not so much lodgers as squatters, really. Maybe that's given Mrs. Gunn a cut. Don't think I want to know where a ghost gets meat. From their own dead body. <laughs> Turning off all these lamps doesn't really seem to do much. I don't think I've committed... I was committing 100%. Have I missed some? Well, I can't turn out any of these lights. And I don't see any other lamps around. Yeah, don't know what good that does or whether or not I should keep doing it. I'll try to remember to be consistent. I feel like that's all anyone could ever ask for. Let's go talk to her first. Oh, she's missing an eye. Uh, after I turn that off. Am I fond of these? These fronds are from the Frond du Lac. The Lake of Fronds. Interesting fact. Don't know what to do with that knowledge. Hello, dear. Welcome to my little B&B. &B. Would you care for a room? No thanks, I won't be staying that long. Hopefully. Wait a minute. Yes? What's B&B &B stand for? Your B&B. &B. This isn't your house. I want to know the acronym first. Boo and breakfast. Yeah, okay. That's what I was expecting. I was kind of expecting boo and boo. Or that you would just say I misspoke and just say boo or something. Why do you say yours die again? No, I don't think so. I think we know her well enough to ask about the eye. That's not uh, that's not too soon or anything like that. Oh, it was such a foolish accident. I had a guess I was suspicious of. A nervous, twitchy little man. I thought he might be mixed up in something bad. And one evening as I was passing by his room, I gave into temptation and peeped in on him through the keyhole. Did you see anything? Well, only for a moment. He was cleaning a small pistol, and I suppose I must have made a noise, because he suddenly jumped and the gun went off. And it hit you? That's right, straight through the keyhole. That's how I died, in fact. 
that sucks that as a ghost you don't get to keep your eye. That's really unfortunate. Sucks for everyone who died in any particularly violent, grotesque, very damaging fashion. Jeez, I'm sorry. Thank you, dear, but it's all right. Serves me right for spying on a guest is how I look at it. Well, probably don't have a lot of depth perception when you're looking at it, but it's good that you can see it at least a little bit. Is that what's keeping you here? Guilt? No, I think I paid quite sufficiently for that transgression. What then? Well, I don't want to go to heaven missing an eye. Wouldn't be as nice without depth perception, that's what I'm saying. So you need a new eye? Yes, do you think you could help me? Uh, yeah, I'll kill someone and see if they don't mind giving up an eye, because presumably it has to be a ghost eye. I'll keep an eye on, I mean, I'll see what I, uh, bye. How about I send you to hell instead? Jesus, dude. No, let's let's stick with the uh, the helpful side of things. I would still argue that's probably the best route for us. The door is barred, and therefore so are you from entering unbarred again. We we did feel good at that last time. The ghostly clerk runs, uh, hover, hovers quickly over to you. No, no, dear. I'm sorry, but I can't let you do that. Why not? What's in there? A customer. He hasn't paid his bill, so I was forced to lock him in there until he does. I hope he's already dead. I hope you're not starving this guy out in there. <laughs> I know that seems mean, but one has to take a firm hand with these things. How much does he owe you? 1,000 meat. How is he supposed to get the meat to pay you if you won't let him out? It's a fair question, dear, but that's on him, I'm afraid. That makes sense. I uh, I guess I'll just offer to pay it myself, uh, but I am, I'm not paying full price. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing I've gotten out of him. Maybe maybe ask him for what he has left. If you can't hit a thousand, maybe just say, like, what can you afford? Now you got 500 plus whatever he throws at you? And he seems perfectly content to just stay locked in there, so... All right. She unbars the door and carries the bar away. Maybe I would have wanted that bar. You could have offered. I did just pay 500 meat for it. Go into the room. Go somewhere else. He is not dead. Surprised he seems so okay with it. This plant is real, but the pot is fake. <laughs> Not certain how that works out, but you're going off. Immediately. It's a bookshelf, mostly full of self-help books left here by previous guests. Ooh, maybe we can learn about book law. How to affirm your true self with potential. The shocking secret of trusting your true self. The potential of considering your mind. Yourself. Other people. Hey, there's actually a useful book hidden among all this crap. Modern snake oiler. Ooh, a new one. Look at another book. The Power of Considering the Universe. Love. Your Soul. Wealth. Wealth. Ooh. That's a hell of a good read. Obviously, I read it over and over again. Look at all this wealth I've accumulated. The potential of affirming yourself. The incredible rules of affirming yourself. The virtue of trusting wealth. Loving your teenager in just five minutes. Because, you know, you don't automatically love them. you got to build up to that. <laughs> Trusting yourself while sensing yourself. The effective magic of considering your true self. I just like these randomly generated titles a lot. The powerful power of tidying up your spouse. Ooh, yeah. Sometimes they just get a little out of sorts. So you just got to, like, give them a quick dust. Maybe a little vacuum. A little dirt devil. Throw on like a little bit of a Febreze mist on there and ooh, top-notch spouse you got there. The magic of tidying up your heart. The incredible magic of trusting love, wealth, your children. All right, that's enough of all that. Let's read the snake oiler. Use this to learn a new snake oiling skill. Read it, yes. You've already learned all the techniques in this magazine. I wouldn't sure I wasn't sure if it would have added anything new in the DLC. You do manage to pick up a few tricks, tips and tricks from the letters to the editor though, so it's not a complete waste. Then you hide the magazine under a log in the woods. Maybe some child will find it and become a snake oiler in the future. That'd be great. Then we could feel like we contributed to the future generations. There is no toilet, but at least there's a wait, no, there's no sink either. Look in the mirror. You notice something stuck in your teeth. You pick it out. That was worth it. <laughs> I sounded convinced, didn't I? It's a guest bed, which is like a normal bed, but with a worse mattress. You just go to the store and say, give me the worst thing you've got. Don't worry, I'll never sleep on it. It doesn't matter. 
Hey, somebody left their wallet in the nightstand. I mean, probably this dude, but no, that's okay. He doesn't seem to mind. We can take it. I, I, it doesn't let you interact with it a second time. I thought maybe we could see see if there was a little bit more in there. Maybe they left both of their wallets. Who knows? All right, dude. We essentially like paid your bail here. What's the what's the deal? One of the museum employees is sitting here reading a magazine. As far as you can see, congratulate him on his newfound freedom. Congratulations, I freed you. You're free. Huh? Free from what? Well, from being locked in this room with nothing to do except read that magazine. Ah, so you freed me from having an excellent excuse for not doing my crappy job. Well, you freed me from the burden of relaxing in here instead of emptying trash cans and cleaning the toilets. Great. Look, you're a real hero. I could just lock the door again. No, it's too late now. I'm free. Free as the wind blows. Free as my job blows. Thank you. You're welcome. He leaves, taking the chair with him. I still got the experience. Huh. <laughs> there was not a lot worth doing in this particular room. Glad I didn't pay full price for the, the, the privilege. This door is locked. I could just pick it. She might be a little upset. What about room three? It really seems like there'd be a door here. It's like that classic prank of, you know, letting a bunch of chickens left loose in in a, a school or something like that. And you write like one, two, and four on their backs. And everyone finds the three chickens and just assumes there was four of them. It's great stuff. Classic prank. You just pranking me there, one-eyed lady? One-eyed guest booking lady? What's the old room for? You start to open the door, but the ghostly clerk swoops in and blocks your way. Oh, hey now, you're an all-star. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> Sorry, dear, but I can't let you go wandering in there. Why not? What's in there? A uh, tenant. They've paid for the room, and they seem rather quiet private sort, so, so I won't have you disturbing them. Ah, uh, fine. Thanks for ruining the fun. But maybe in, get, in, in room two, there's a connecting room three, and then a connect that connects to room four. This is my guess. Let's investigate. You wait for the clerk to look the other way and quietly pick the lock. Don't worry, she won't notice you even going in the room. Presumably, possibly. Huh, what do you know? It's basically the exact same. Dangerously sharp leaves. You should leave them alone. I don't take recommendations from plants. Don't tell me what to do. Uh, there's nothing fun to be said about this crappy guest bed. What about this tiny little ladder? There's a nice landscape painting on the wall. Examine it. This painting of the countryside is nice, but there's nothing very interesting about it. It looks like the sort of thing you'd find hanging over the bed in a mid-price hotel room. Or a, uh, a bed and breakfast, come to think of it. I guess it's a little weird that it's hanging over a stepladder instead of up the bed. Maybe the last occupant had a really short art aficionado. <laughs> was a really short. Take a closer look. Happy little trees. Nice little Bob Ross moment there. Oh, hey. According to the signature, this is the original Darius Klieg. You've never heard of him. But he's the original. Hmm. You know, now that you're looking closely at it, it seems like the painting is sticking over the wall more than you would expect. Take it off the wall. Well, what do you know? There's another painting underneath it. A painting of a safe. This house must be really old if it's got jokes of this vintage. <laughs> Wait, it, it is a picture though? It isn't actually... Is it actually a safe? <laughs> is it just saying that the, like, this is like a childish joke? <laughs> There's a painting of a safe on the wall. Well, can I re-examine that at all? Let's look at ourselves in the mirror. The mirror on this vanity doesn't work. Oh, well, that's a shame. I would have loved to look at myself some more. Maybe in that time we got more stuff in our teeth. We're, you know, we're always eating, like, broccoli and popcorn and spinach and stuff, so things are just appearing in our teeth all the time. you got to stay on top of that. This table is stationary, but there's no stationary on it. Heh. <laughs> Examine the safe. It's a fairly realistic painting of a safe. It's captioned... Ceci n'est pas un confort. I uh, don't know French at all. And so I choose to just butcher it as much as possible. And then uh, if I don't take a real attempt at it, then no one can mock me for being bad at it because I was just, oh, I just was purposely saying it like, you know, like, bonjour, no. 
You can't mock me when I don't even care. That's my, my out in this situation. Take it off the wall. You take the wall safe painting off the wall. Behind it, of course, a wall safe. Of course. <laughs> that was very tricky, though. You almost had me fooled. Almost. You inspect the large wall safe, which is securely locked. It only took safe crack in one, so it's not that safe. Crack that safe. The safe swings open. It's empty, apart from a rolled up poster of Rita Hayworth. That is, uh, what's it called? Shawshank Redemption reference. Yes. Wait, but it's like the Rita Hayworth poster is used to cover up something and here it's inside of the something. So I think they used it kind of incorrectly, maybe. If it was hanging up on that wall, then that would be how we would get into the mysterious room three, but nah. Oh, do you know what? To get to room four, we must have to free that ghost by getting her an eyeball, and then we'll be able to access it? Probably something like that. Well, swell. Search it anyway? Determined not to have gone through all this nonsense for nothing, you carefully search the empty safe. Eventually, there's a click on the, on the back, and the safe swings open. I knew it. Revealing a secret passage. I guess that explains the stepladder. Finally! And we just popped out the other side. Oh, no, we just haven't uh, gone through it yet. I thought we went to like a weird mirror image room that was pretty much the same exact thing. Well, here's that silly secret passage you found. Go on through. It did just take us to kind of a weird mirror image room. What's going on here? The proximity of the lamp makes this plant extra healthy. Not anymore. Sorry, plant. Your days are numbered. It's a sewing kit. So it is. Haha, <laughs> good one. I'm glad you think so. The homophonous nature of so-and-so certainly is right for puns, yes? Is that so? Yes, very good. Very funny. Listen, are you going to loot this container or what? Why so serious? <laughs> well, you're kind of driving the joke into the ground now. It's getting really tiresome. Not really tiresome. Only so-so. Just, come on. This has totally stopped being funny. Are we just talking to some omnipresent narrator or to the sewing box? That we're like, what is going on there? Is that so? Yes. Yes, it is. Are you just messing with me? Do you just not want what's in this? I do want it. I want it so bad. Look, the grimy, you're starting to get on my nerves now. So what? <laughs> Fist pumping as he's busted out yet another bun. So what? is that there's an item in here that you need for progression. And at this point, I'm sorely tempted to not give it to you. So don't give it to me then. Oh god, just take it, okay? Take it and get the hell out of my, out of this script. You got the elevator button. This is a little button labeled the Chicago International Passenger and Freight Elevator Manufacturing Inc. Estimated 1857. They started abbreviating things at the end there because they were running out of room. <laughs> we got the ink and the STD on there. Yeah, it was a little bit of a long, a long title. I'll give you that. Oh, and th uh, thank you so much. Of course, there's one more so in there. Please just leave. Please, for the love of God, leave and never come back. This room has a bed, but no door. I guess that's why they call it a bedroom and not a door room. There's some candy on the nightstand. Nine out of ten dentists would be a dentists would be appalled. Take it, sugar guns. We've had those before, but peppermint drops. That seems new. There's a little dropper bottle full of potent peppermint oil. Increases your item drop bonus by ten percent. Ooh, that's kind of neat, isn't it? This armoire is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Go through it. Now, what do you know? I thought that perhaps it was uh, gonna take me somewhere a little bit more exotic, a little bit something, a little snowy and outdoorsy, and you know, a little gnarly. Something a little cooler than this basic looking room is what I'm saying. So is that technically the third room and this is the fourth room now, is what I'm thinking? Sciencey stuff? Yeah, grab it. More doohickeys. Seems to have worked out quite well previously. This bed hasn't been slept in for a long time, probably because this guy's dead. This plant was planted here as false evidence. Hello there. Are you here to laugh at me? Huh? No, not at all. I wouldn't do that. No, of course you wouldn't. Nobody ever laughs. I never made a single person laugh in my entire career. That's 
A left turn I wasn't expecting. What was your career? I used to do design gags and novelties, but I was terrible at my job. I couldn't come up with a single novel idea. This conversation seems oddly familiar. See? Even my very presence is unoriginal. You're just being too hard on yourself. I bet you invented all kinds of good stuff. My best invention was fake, fake vomit. Ah, uh, It just looks like fake vomit. But surprise, it's real. Ha ha. That was the one that got me fired. How did you die? If you don't mind me asking. I was working on a new invention. An exploding cigar. I thought that would be pretty good. You light a cigar, and it's fine for a second, but suddenly it goes off with a big bang, and you jump in surprise, and everyone laughs because you nearly had a heart attack. Funny, right? Sure. I had a snag in development, though. What happened? How thoroughly did you blow yourself up? Or was it just the lung cancer? <laughs> well, I figured I'd use gunpowder for the explosive. You can buy it already packed in these little brass cartridges. So, that seemed convenient. Do you mean bullets? My first test run was a real mess, I can tell you. I can imagine. So, anyway, now I'm a failure and I'm dead. Maybe I can help you out. What do you mean? Well, your initial idea was pretty funny, I guess. It's just your execution. That was the problem. My execution was the problem. Yeah, the execution is kind of... How you died, you did execute yourself with the execution, dude. Ha! You're a laugh riot. Maybe you could help me after all. Actually, let's just fight. I'll see if I can figure something out for you. Seems like I've, I've effectively brightened this young man's day with my wonderful witticisms and uh, undeniable humor. Can I just walk into the front now? Ugh, fine. Fine lady, if you want to be such a nag but I'll sneak in there, all on my own, just you watch. <laughs> and you guys can watch. Next time, though. Not this time. <laughs> Thank you guys all so much for watching. I will see you again soon. What a dynamo ending to an episode. It wasn't abrupt at all.